I am having a fabulous day, and I want to thank you for joining me live here in the studios with the Balder BB Show. We're going to talk about hindsight. Thanks a lot, guys. No, thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us, Val Valder. Am I pronouncing that we were, correct? We were correctly? just Valder? loving your name. Yeah. Can you talk about your name? Yeah, <laughs> Valder BB. It wasn't cool in high school, but it works very well now. <laughs> oh, well, what did they know? Hey, you got your own radio show now, so. I know. Isn't there you it go. great? You yeah. just hang on and things will change. I want to talk with you guys. I want to let my audience know that I've got two great guests today. We're going to be talking to Laura Ramsey and Craig Horner, and they're going to talk with us about the BH1 series. You guys tell me, what, you, what do you call it? Hindsight? Hindsight. Yeah. All right, then. And ladies are always first in my world, so I'm going to start with you, Laura. Tell Ooh. me your, your connection to hindsight. My connection to hindsight? Um, I, I play Becca. I play the character who gets to go back in time and relive her life uh, knowing what happens in the future and whether or not she's going to make the same decisions and, and, or change everything and whether that's good or bad or the drama that comes from it all. Isn't that an a awesome thing to happen to you? You know, you hear people on TV all the time, oh, what would you change? And people say, I wouldn't change anything. But if given that choice, like your character shows, that's, that's an, almost an improbability to try and make the right choice. Exactly. I think everything, is, we're all connected in this tapestry of life. So one little, little other decision can, can dramatically change your life. And, and, and other people's. And other people's. Yeah. So you see that in the show. Um, but also in real life, like if you could go back, I mean, you would have a completely different life. Just that one right turn that you wanted to make that you didn't make. That's incredible. Craig, tell me about your character and how it intersects with hindsight. Uh, I'm uh, Becca's first husband. Um, and things didn't quite work out between the two of us. Um, we might have been too young for each other, perhaps. Um, uh, either way, my character doesn't know what happened to us. Uh, only uh, Laura's character knows what went wrong with our relationship. Um, so when we uh, find me, I, I, the first time you see me, I'm all smiles, I'm all great, life's going great, you know, I'm about to get married to the woman of my dreams. But then suddenly she has a change of heart and my life is turned upside down and now he doesn't know where he's going. So it's a huge journey for him to find himself and discover who he is. Well, you guys, this is just a, a great opportunity for, for people to contemplate life questions. This is why I wanted to talk with you. I like something that has relevance. A lot of shows don't have relevance. Not that we're time traveling right now, but just the premise of what your show, Hindsight, is to me makes it interesting something worth following, and something people can contemplate for themselves. What if I'd made a different decision? Would I still be married to that jerk or right. <laughs> the guy in my dreams? Yeah. Absolutely. The show, it, it's, there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of 90s references, but really deep. It, it's a deep show, and it, it makes you think about your own life and, and the decisions you've made, and you kind of get, <clears throat> excuse me, um, nostalgic and and uh, I think it, it that's one of the main things of what people have told me that they love about the show is is it there is a depthness and it makes people think mm. Mm. well this is your your series hindsight is from the filmmakers behind the masters of sex which I love and <laughs> orange is the new black which I've never watched but I know that they have this great uh, energy or synergy that's currently out there so are we going to put you guys in that category, you know, with those up there shows? Do you think that? I, I think for sure our show has just as much credibility as Masters of Sex and Orange is the New Black. Yeah. But if you just achieve Masters <clears throat> of Sex, you're on, you're on top. That's a great, <laughs> like it's a great, a well done show. It really is. Uh, I had never seen erotica that was okay in that fashion. Right. So, you guys have the opportunity to pull from those same people who have those talents and make us think. That's why I say this is why I think your show is going to be a great show. Yeah. Thank you. You're hoping yes. to see some erotica on hindsight. Is that what you're saying? 
<laughs> oh no! And should I be looking? Ah. There, there's erotica, but it's very tastefully done. Yeah, just like Monsters of Sex. It's I, I, I love tastefully done. Yeah. It, it's a fact of life. That's not the problem. No. The problem is the people who show it to us and the way they show it to us. Exactly. That's the problem. It's true. Exactly. It's true. Well, you guys, you're going to be on this. What have you? Tell me about your. Uh, what brought you to the project? And I know the agent and all mm -hmm. of that, but what so. makes you choose something? Other than I gotta work to be on a project. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, it's it was um, a show that I hadn't <laughs> done for a while. I hadn't done a good little uh, uh, drama comedy for a while, you know. Um, so, just from an actor's stance, it was just something to do differently. And I, I wanted to do something that has a bit of a a comedic touch to it, you know. And finally, this is like this is the first show I've kind of had that with. All my other shows have been so serious and stuff. Mm -hmm. How about you? <clears throat> I, I loved the roller coaster that my character Becca goes on. I, I was really attracted to this crazy, neurotic, great like girl that everyone will be able to relate to in some way, but she's goofy and she's funny and she goes through a lot of emotional changes and it was a challenge and I, I, I like that I had that I was able to exercise these things that happened during the shoot. <laughs> Well, we're going to love watching you guys uh, on VH1. You know what? You got a night and a time? Yeah. Wednesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific. Yeah? Yeah. Wednesday yeah. nights, 10 p.m. For Laura Ramsey and Craig Horner, I think you guys are going to be my new guilty pleasure. I can't wait to watch. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, No, Valder. thank you for being my guest on the Belder <laughs> BB show.